In this video, I'll show you how to design and set up a landing page in ConvertKit. Add tags, set up automation, and to make your life easier, I also have an extra bonus for you. I designed three free email templates ready for you to use. So make sure to grab them below. If you're new to this channel, hi and welcome. My name is Ksenia and I'm a brand and website designer. And here I share Squarespace website design and marketing tips, tutorials for busy creators and entrepreneurs. So make sure to subscribe. So let's dive in. Log in to your ConvertKit account. And from there, you want to navigate to grow and landing pages and forms. Click this big red button saying create new. And from here, we want to navigate to landing pages. And ConvertKit already have a lot of pre-laid out templates. So you just want to select whichever one you like it best. You can preview, you can change between the different versions of the desktop and mobile and then just navigate between them like that. Let's choose this one. The very first thing I would suggest is to rename it your uh, landing page to make sure that, that you know what it is. Test name here. Use a descriptive name that would clearly indicate the purpose of this landing page. We will use it later to add tags and create automations. Then we can start adjusting the copy. This is just like any other word editor that you can highlight and start typing it here. So let's copy some text and we can maybe make this shorter. Let's copy more text just like that. We can also add another heading, a number list. Let's here we can make some bulleted points. We can also change the color. Let's skip it for now. We can change this image by replacing it. You can drag any image over here. Here's our image. And then uh, as you see, the background image already has some sort of background. So we can remove this background and just keep a color, do it like light. Or you can upload another image if you would like. We have the first name, email address. Here we can also change this subscribe button, change it to something else color-wise and call to action would be over here. This is an external link that I would just remove all of them unless it's useful for you, but I don't want any of this because it just basically, okay. So I just want this very plain landing page for them to describe what they can get here, show them the points, and a place for them to insert their first name and their email address and subscribe. That looks good. So I'm going to click save. Now we want to navigate to settings and here we can adjust the success message. So this is something that is showing to them after they have subscribed to your list and we can redirect them to a different external page. Here under the incentive, we can add our download. So basically if that's a PDF file or ebook or anything of that sort, this is where you can upload this file. Or if it's a URL, you can just insert the URL over here under the send incentive email. This is where we can edit the very first email that it's been sent to the new subscriber. You can also type anything at all here and change this color if you want it to be more on brand change the subject line etc so i'm just click save and under the advanced you can also adjust some seo settings so you can adjust the title a description of this page image etc you can also install a google tag manager a, a pinterest a facebook business so you can track leads that come into this page i'm just going to click save again save and publish this link over here is already a landing page that you can start sending people to and they already can sign up. This is the way you can publish landing page without using a website. You have a way of collecting emails and expanding your audience with just ConvertKit. Now let's create a sequence that would be sent out to people after they subscribe to this form. So what we need to do is navigate to send and to the sequence. Here we would create a new sequence. You can select from the very templates that you might have created. I have another video that shows you how to create a template, or you can use one of my pre-designed templates, which is 
which I mentioned are free. You can download them in the link below. Let's choose this template. So this is going to be our email number one and let's name our sequence welcome test. I'm just naming something that I would remember to show you the next steps, but you want to name it, as I mentioned, something that would indicate this particular offer. All right. And here, so basically you will start editing the text, replace images. To the right, we have a navigation here under the emails. It shows you all the emails in our sequence. So currently we only have one email, but you can add as many as you want by just clicking add email. Please note that each email will, each new email that you add would duplicate the template that you have chosen. So basically this template. So all of your emails in this sequence are going to be replicating this template. And then you can switch from email to styles. Currently it's showing us a timer. It's because I had my cursor over here. So now we can change the end date. If we're promoting something when the offer is expired, uh, we can also, so if I click over here, you see it immediately changes to the text style. So now we can adjust the text. We can change the color. If I navigate from text to sections, now we're editing this section and this is the background color that we have and we can adjust this background color to something else if necessary. And then if we navigate from section to email, now this is the background color of all of this email. So I can change that as well. Okay, so here we would adjust all the copy, replace everything um, that is necessary, um, replace images. And then we want to schedule this email to go out immediately after they have subscribed to our email list. An important part, you always want to publish it. So currently this email isn't going to go out even if we schedule everything because it's still in draft. And if I try to publish it right now, I'm going to have this error message. And the reason is because I did not add any links. So if you have a button, it means it's, it needs to have a link. So if I switch from emails to styles, you're going to see that this your is empty. So we want to include something there. I'm just going to duplicate this. This is our link. Let's check if there is other links that need to be replaced here. For example, you don't need to have this particular section. You can just simply delete it. And let's say you don't want this. You can also just delete it. Or if you need an extra section of this, you can duplicate it. All right. And now if I switch back to emails, you see there is no draft indication here. It means that this email will go out immediately once we do the next step. Now we can add another email and this could be an email number two. And it's important to note that this timing is calculated after the previous email. If I schedule this two days after, it's going to go out two days after this first email, not since the start of the sequence. And we want to publish this one as well. All right. So the second email has been published. We can add more on the top of this sequence if we wish. Now we want to connect this sequence with the landing page we just created. We want to make sure that when somebody subscribes to that landing page, that's why it's important to note the name of that landing page. This particular email sequence could go out to that person. And from here, we would navigate to automate and rules, and we want to create a new rule. Here we can select a trigger, which would trigger our automation. So in our case, we want to send a welcome sequence to a person who subscribed to a landing page. We want to subscribe to a form and then we name our form test. So I'm going to select the test form and then the action that is going to happen is we want to subscribe them to a sequence. So subscribe them to a sequence and our sequence was welcome test and we just save the rule. Automation is all set and ready to go. So if somebody subscribes to our landing page, those emails that we just scheduled are going to go out in sequential order as we schedule them. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thank you.